What is up guys, it's Josh here, and today I am bringing you a Hunger Games gameplay commentary for your viewing pleasure. In this gameplay, we're actually playing with no kits because the servers were down, and it was really cool because actually no one had any kits, so it completely leveled the playing field. Um, and we were actually playing on a team of three, and uh, which is pretty noobish in my opinion, but it's fun just to, with a team of three, you can really just dominate. Um, but yeah, so right off the bat there, we just got a quick kill. Um, and if you guys didn't notice, I did actually get a new mic. So hopefully it sounds better. It, uh, uh, we have determined that it does sound better than the old one. But also, you can't hear me swallow anymore, which is really uh, quite nice. As well as it's got some epic surround sound. So here a guy was trying to hide in the tree. And I just uh, got up there and hit him off. Uh, an easy kill right there. Um, also, I got a new mouse as well, and it has helped me a ton in PvP. Once I got used to it, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, it's the Logitech G9X, and the headset is the Logitech G35, so if you want to check those out, please do. It's the same mouse that Zephyr has, I think. Um, yeah, this guy was just getting triple teamed. It, it just wasn't even fair right there. So, uh, yeah, that's the advantage of a three-man team, of course. You can take out a guy in full iron with a two-man team, even. Uh, but, uh, also, I have not posted in a long time, guys, and I was on vacation uh, with no Wi-Fi, so I couldn't upload or anything. Uh, but I did, uh, I, we did get a lot of footage at the lake where we were that you might see um, here. This guy was just glitched out. I hit him like once and then he just lagged hardcore and I actually got stuck in here so I had to have uh, my teammate dig me out. But we got a lot of footage from the lake so um, hopefully we'll make actually a real life montage of everything we did there which was really sick. Um, and I can't wait for that to come out. It might be the first time you see my face too. So if you're lucky I'll include some uh, face shots there. Not gonna tell you which boy's me, but you'll you'll see. Anyways, this guy had 26 iron, so that's gonna give us iron swords and two of us chest plates of the three of us. Um, so that was great right off the bat. I think it was X-ray hacking because um, who gets 26 iron within like five minutes of the game? But whatever it worked out for us. All right, so uh, now two of us have chest plates. Uh, everything's going pretty good so far. We just got to smelt the iron and whatnot. I get a bucket, so uh, buckets to me are way more important than picks and even more important than boots and a helmet to me. I would rather make a bucket just because MLG watering helps so much if you're trying to take out a tower like this one. Um, I start stacking up and I get my water bucket ready here because if I fall off, obviously I'll be able to MLG water. And uh, I'm going over here, and I'm actually distracting them quite a bit. So one of my teammates decides to start pillaring up over there. You see him uh, starting to pillar up, and uh, they do notice him here. But uh, by then, it's too late for them. He takes out one of them, and I'm going in for help, but he does not need it. He takes him out again, and our third teammate is still on the ground, but unfortunately, he gets a glitch where um, the stew actually gets eaten instead of, like, used as stew. So he dies when his stew glitches out. And uh, we go down to take out this team of two. It's a 2v2 now. We actually have the exact same armor and everything. So this was a very um, fair game. No kits and uh, fights like this. So th uh, my teammate dies and his teammate falls like two blocks and dies. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Darkfire is pretty good at PvP, actually. He got me down pretty low. Uh, I had a chest plate, so I did have the advantage, and I did kill him. And uh, unfortunately, I don't get anything out of that fight, really, except for two teammates dead, because they didn't have any armor for me. So I continue my hunt. And um, so, yeah, now it's just me, no kit. And I'm definitely at the disadvantage if I find a team. The only advantages in this game were if you actually had a team. So I come across this ravine, and it turns out that there's actually a team of three down there. So I'm thinking, how am I going to engage them? 
but I decide just to screw it, because I know if I go down there, I'll die. They all have the same armor as me, if not more, so I just head to the feast and hope that there I will meet people who will team with me and help me take out the team. So they are coming towards a feast platform, and I decided to go up in a tree, try and hide from them, because uh, I'll just wait until they're starting looting chests and try and get a surprise attack on them. But uh, that actually doesn't work out for me too well, because here I'm trying to climb up onto the highest spot in the tree. I fall, and uh, again I fall, and for a third time I fall down here, which really sucked. It seems like t uh, this guy was actually fighting, and I was like, he'll probably die considering there's a team of three, so I decided to go help, because since he's distracting them, at least I can kill him while they're distracted. It turns out that there was only one teammate left, and he got destroyed by a full iron guy, so I was going to help the full iron guy because he was going up against the team, but he actually took them all out for me, which was lucky. I probably wouldn't have survived. But now it is me in my chest plate versus this full iron guy. I'm strafing him pretty well and actually getting some good combos on him. But this fight comes down to the wire. You can see I'm getting really low on health and really low on stew. So I back up and he restews and I decide to restew as well. I get that first hit on him and combo him. And uh, only four stews left, and I kill him there. So luckily some of his stews went into my uh, inventory. That is the benefit of quick dropping, definitely, because those stews saved me. Now I have to fight this guy, and I do end up killing him. That was a super close fight for me. Uh, quick dropping definitely saved me there. And I'm, uh, I put on the pumpkin, of course, because if you get pumpkins, it's just an unspoken rule. You have to put them on your head. My texture pack, I don't think, has the, uh, the texture for the pumpkin, so I actually can see through it, which is kind of nice. I think that's pretty cool because um, I'm in style points. So here, I'm looting the feast. A pretty good feast, actually. It had a chest plate, boots, TNT, steak, as you can see here. There's only one guy left in the game. Uh, I get the strength pot here. Actually, got two spots for steak there. But, um, so I now have full iron outside of the pumpkin, and I was not going to sacrifice a helmet for a pumpkin, because, I mean, pumpkins are just awesome. You, you gotta put the pumpkin on if you, you find one. I mean, come on, people. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I get a potion of slowness, too, and the guy decides to come in, try and kill me, and I just strafe and combo the hell out of him. He can't even get a hit on me, and he runs away. I keep hitting him. I actually hit him off the feast platform. I'm like, perfect. He can't run away now. Get that crit combo, and there we go. I disconnect because, um, of course, it crashes on me every time. Thank you guys for telling me because it kept just crashing and then I couldn't get a footage. But if you disconnect, I can uh, stop recording. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. This is a, quite a unique game. I like playing with no kits, actually, quite a bit. It just levels the playing field. But anyway, guys, if you want to drop a like or subscribe, feel free to. That would be greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.